Look at this nigga, bro. I am the king of White Castle burgers, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. and uh, hey, shorty, come here, Miss Parker, come here. All them years, how the nigga running? Well, keep running, nigga. I'm a Clippers what? fan. Bitch. Man, fuck that bitch. I ain't got time for these hoes, bro. All right, bro. That was a classic last game against Dame and the Blazers. But we got to put it behind us. Got the Kings up next. Good to see you, NT. Good to be seen. You gonna do something special tonight? You already know it. I just head out to the court. Oh, shit. What up, Brian? You all right, Kaz? Yeah, running a little late, had some tacos for the game. Now I gotta take a shit. All right, bro. As I sit and dust them off Why do people say it's just to piss you off Ignore them, no call button And then dress too hard Now they can't test the guards Had to defy the odds It only get tougher back then We thought times was hard Told them don't write me off Told them don't type at all To all the ones that gave up This a reply right to y'all What are the biggest challenges for a player? Kevin, sometimes it's just about Knowing what city you're in The, the travel in this league is crazy but you really want to keep focus and, and sleep and eat right. Vital. Now Sacramento starting five. They've got Monk. Fox is out there with Simmons. And there's Miles Turner. And it's a bonus in a power forward. And no real surprise to see that MV will be on the Rising Stars roster. It would be a travesty, I think, Greg, if he was left off it. And you look at the rest of the players in that game. MP is just one of many incredible young talents to be showcased. And so it's the Kings getting on the board first. And it's Beverly missing. Fox feeling it out a bit. Sabonis sets the big for Fox. In the corner, it's Monk. A three-pointer, no good. And here's the Lakers, fresh from a win against Portland. And that was not an easy game for them. I mean, they barely hung on at the end of regulation before they were able to pull it out in overtime. And it could turn out to be one of their biggest wins of the season. I mean, just because of the way they came through when it mattered most. Guys, thankfully, it was just twice a year as we were in the Eastern Conference. But those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win titles. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by him. Now, here's Fox. He's coming off a 13-point game against Chicago. And even while he was piling up all those points, he still found a way to create chances for his teammates. The assists just kept on coming. The Lakers with the ball. Following De'Aaron Fox's three-point attempt. T. Off target from three-point range. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Down low. And Fox gets it to go. Good intelligent basketball on the part of Turner there. Assists like that will make the defense think twice about how they're going to defend him. Now here's James. 23 points his last outing. The pass to T. There's the three. Unable to get that one. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. Well, you know, you hear about the importance of having depth all the time. Bench players that contribute in last game, their bench came alive. Now here's Davis coming off a solid outing against Portland. Boy, they are frigid right now. I mean, failing to connect on their first four attempts. Fox passes to Simmons. Offside Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. 
and Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Fox. Excellent pick and roll action that time. Sabonis has great hands, rolls out of the screen effectively and hard, attacks the defense as the roll man. And that one's good by Davis. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Darvin Ham. Uh, David, what do you have to say? Well, Kevin, he talked about his team's defensive mindset. He said they have to be willing to sacrifice a little room in the paint if it means they stay tight on their outside shooters. He said it's no secret those guys attack from long range. The three ball is a big concern for any defense. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Two on the clock. When LeBron is engaged on defense, he's a real problem at that end of the floor, too. Terrific job changing the shot. And they double up James. Here's T. Guarded by Fox. And it's sent back by Turner. They recover it. Bagley with a wide open look. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Monk kicks to Fox. Outside, Simmons. Back to Fox. And it's good, assisting on the point. Completely in the zone this quarter. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game, still very much up in the air. Jumps up, and it's Fox with the jam. Nice heads-up defense from Turner there, paying off with a successful fast break. And there's no question, Miles Turner is one of the NBA's best shot blockers. Kevin, he's led the league multiple times in block shots. And if you look at his per-game averages, man, very impressive. I think he's put himself in the conversation for one of the most prolific shot blockers of all time if he can sustain it for a few more years. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Here's T. He had a big outing in that Trailblazers game as well. And finished off by Davis. For three. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Wow. Unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Here's James. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet for him. Bagley from outside. And Demontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got four rebounds now tonight. Simmons passes to Monk. Davis with some nice D. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And Davis throws it down. Powerful. When Davis gets positioning like that, he's trying to dunk it. So the Kings call time. Kings leading now by 10. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy. But Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury. So you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. Josh Richardson out there with LeBron James. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then it's T. And it's Bagley in at the five. That's a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Count the basket. Fox has got 15 points. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. Bagley with a screen on Sabonis. Here's James. And it's off the back rim. No good. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. That's to Kinnard. Sabonis' is screen on Richardson. Kennard finds Sabonis. Richardson with it. Sabonis defending. You know, at this point... In their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And another key for them tonight, attacking the basket. Taking it right to the hoop, never a bad idea. Outside, Fox. From downtown, 
misses. Fourth time against seven makes in this game. Lakers trail by nine. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Richardson outside. Five on the clock. Here's T. Guarded by Fox. And so Fox will bring it up for Sacramento. At one point, they led by 16. This game is finished. They'll be off to Portland taking on the Trailblazers. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Boy, how about the determination of Turner? I mean, he's a wrecking ball on the glass on both ends of the floor. Just doesn't give up on plays. Here's T. He's as potent an offensive player as you're going to find in this league. He averages almost 30 points a game. Out that one, and the Kings lead has been cut to just nine on the basket from LeBron. Mitchell against Beverly. Mitchell looking it over. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go. To be limiting your team in possessions. And you don't want your teammates to be sloppy. You don't want to be sloppy. And most of the time, you want to try to force your opponents into turnovers, not make them. He's checked in for Los Angeles. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Well, guys, T in that last outing against the Trailblazers really lit up the floor. He scored 41 points and seemed to pick apart the defense all night with a ton of assists. The numbers in that game make me anxious to see what he can do tonight. Kevin? Yeah, David in stretches. He was absolutely dominant. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. Well, this team needs his contribution. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. For sure. And draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. Here's Mitchell following the basket by LeBron James. Mitchell passes to Sabonis. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Sabonis has got his second bucket of the night. This is really where Sabonis does some of his best work. He's a reliable scorer in the paint. LeBron is screen on Fox. It's Beverly on the wing. And the three off target. Sacramento leading by 10. Mitchell outside. Turner with a screen for Mitchell. Good on the triple. Mitchell's got 10. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. with a screen on Fox. Loud pass to Bagley and finished after setting the pick. Sabonis sets the pick for Kanaan. And he drops it in from the low post. Spinning, he looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Matthews finds Bagley. Passes it to LeBron. Over Sabonis. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. Floats one. Oh, that's blocked. How impressive was that? The little fellow, Beverly, extending out for the block. Showed us some nice timing for a guy that's not much taller than 6'2". Bagley sends a screen for Matthews. Here's T. Guarded by Fox. Here's T. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. T's got six in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Man, is it easy to remain in awe of the greatness of LeBron James. Clark, this is a guy that just doesn't seem to age. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really one of the remarkable runs in the history of sports in my mind. So it's the Sacramento King out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Back to the action in just a minute.
Welcome, everyone, to tonight's show. Kicking things off, let's see some of the names on the injury list around the league. So that's the NBA's injury report. What's our injury report look like, fellas? Well, the elevator was out today, and Shaq had to climb two flights of stairs. I think the big man pulled everything. Uh, Kenny, if you keep saying stuff like that, I'm gonna put you on the injury list. Remember, it's one, two, three, not one, two, back to one. Guys, 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 come on. Play nice. Why do I always feel like the only grown-up here? Ah. Well, let's talk about the first half. And the speed demon, De'Aaron Fox, has come out of the gate strong. He's off to a great start. The buckets are coming fast and furious. I'm telling you, and he's shown no signs of letting up. Hey, why stop now? Defense can't stop you. Don't do it for him. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. On the floor for Sacramento, Miles Turner out there with Sabonis. And it's Fox. Then it's Malik Monk. And it's Simmons in at the two. Sabonis' screen on Beverly. Simmons' shot is good. Simmons got the first basket of the third quarter for the Kings. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Two. Yeah, easy call. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. It's 79. And he's good on the second. There's the steal. And it's sent back by Sabonis. Outstanding defensive instincts by Sabonis. Really good timing when to rise up to reject shots. Defense! Defense! Fox kicks to Simmons. Defense! Defense! Turner against Davis. Turner dishes to Monk. From outside, off the mark. Lakers trail by 18. 90 seconds now into the second half. T the pass to LeBron. Here's the screen. And he finishes nicely on the way. James has got eight points. Yeah, you know, LeBron is such a talented finisher. The defense in that situation just unable to keep him from that shot. Outside, Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. Sabonis, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Sabonis is simply relentless on the boards. Doing a nice job getting that second chance basket. LeBron up top, Monk defending. And it's sent back by Turner. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Beverly against Simmons. Here's Sabonis. Out to Turner. Let's it go from deep. And Davis pulls it down. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's an 18-point game. James looking around. Yeah, the defense has to be careful with the front. I mean... No good on the second free throw. And, you know, this guy simply does not age. LeBron remains a dominant force in this league despite being in the league since 2003. Mitchell outside. The nine-foot shot. And Davis sends it back. 
Inside, T, and he pings it home with one hand. Times are climbing just about every all-time chart there is in the NBA. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. James, the pass to T. It's good. You'd love the mentality he has to go at defenders and just keep attacking. Here's Mitchell. And that one is off. Some solid defense from T. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David. We thank you for your report. That should give him a nice little joke. Uh, yeah, it has to. They got seven kicks it to Turner pass to Monk again the miss by the King he still hasn't been able to convert from the field he's just struggling to find the shot here's T covered by Mitchell Davis with a screen on Mitchell T the pass to Davis Jones dishes to Davis Gets it down to single digits. And now that's 11 points for Davis. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And looking at Anthony Davis, a huge part of this team. Sure is. I mean, along with every team he's been on. This is a superstar player. I mean, no question about that. He can headline a roster full of superstars. Not much on the floor that AD can't do. Davis sets a screen. Turner with the steal. Now, here's Monk. He's guarded by Davis. And Gennard, wide open. He shoots. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Kings. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And they've also shown great effort defensively tonight. They closed out on shooters and really got their hands up on multiple shots. Mitchell passes to Sabonis. Back to Mitchell. Three-pointer. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Agley with a screen on Mitchell. And foul on the shot. So far from the line, only three free throws made. Viewing experience. Load management could hurt revenues even further. Yeah, you know, when more fans can pay to watch individual games, it's a bit of a, an a la carte system. Uh, I think you need that star power every night. And even beyond that, Kevin, I think players, all players, but particularly the star players, have a responsibility to try to show up for work every single night. And that really should be the mindset. I think it goes beyond revenue. I think it's just a matter of principle. If you have a job, you should be looking to perform every time. We've got 155 left in the third quarter of the game. Mitchell outside. That shot misses. The Lakers go the other way with it. Oh, they just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Here's T. Covered by Mitchell. Here's T. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. 
T's got 13 points in the second half. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And Davis throws it down. Kings leading now by five. Mitchell outside. Offensive rebound. And Davis sends it back. Here's T. Covered by Mitchell. On the basket by Jones. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Kennard with the ball. He's got 10. On for three. That one, no good. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. 11 seconds left in the third quarter. Six to shoot. Here's Mitchell. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. And it's still anybody's game. Here's Fox. You've got Bagley. He's out there with Josh Richardson. T is out there with LeBron James. And it's Reeves in at the two spot. That's the Laker five. The Lakers trail. Bagley kicks to Richardson. James against Sabonis. On right side, and the dunk by James. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Extremely impressive. We'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. The pass to Kanan. Here's Thompson. Bagley with the rebound. Bagley's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to T. James outside, and James throws it down. Boom, LeBron. And he still got major bounce and force on the fly. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Sabonis sets the pick for Simmons. The kick out to Fox. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. T's got six rebounds now in the game. Richardson outside. And it's Bagley that time on the assist by Richardson. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basketball. Screen by Sabonis. Here's Fox. Cans the 12-footer. Fox has got 19 points. Yeah. Has checked in. Monks checked in for Sacramento. Lakers leading by three. Here's T. LeBron is screen on Fox. Doubled by Sabonis. T the pass to Joseph. And the Lakers get it back. And good that time. LeBron's got six here in this quarter. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. The wide open look here for Fox. Another miss by Fox. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge and in a close game like this. You look for every edge you can find. 
Here's Cheese. Guarded by Fox. For Los Angeles. They bullied the defense here. In the no, they've been knocking down triples, too. They've continued to make the most of their opportunities from behind the arc as well. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Thompson. And he's made more of an effort here to put pressure on the defense in the second half and create some contact and free throw opportunities. Turner with a screen for Fox. And it's off from three-point range. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Pass to James. Here's T. And he gets the whistle. Two three. That free throw good from T. Patrick. Both free throws good from T. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Now, here's Fox. Pass to Turner. Good ball movement here by the Kings. There's Sabonis. Outside for Simmons. Now, here's Monk. Not a lot of room. Can't hit the step back jump shot. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Outside, Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. Sabonis kicks to Simmons. Back to Sabonis. Fox passes to Monk. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first. But the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. James, a screen on Fox. T the pass to James. And James throws it down. Well, you better stop the ball, especially when it's LeBron. He's trailed by eight. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. And, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. T the pass to LeBron. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And now it's a 10-point Los Angeles lead. Back from outside. Can't hit that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. He's having a tough quarter score in the basketball and able to help him close this gap. First free throw is good. Bulls checked in for De'Aaron Fox. Both free throws good from T. How a timeout called by Seth. David. Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in with what the Kings head coach said to his team. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort. Gang rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. And Davis sends it back. Davis is anticipation and timing. So good at the defensive end. This guy is a shot-blocking machine. Well, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley -oop. The ball here for the Kings. They trail by 14. On the wing, Mitchell. Will it go? And the call on the shot. Both shots good from the strike. Here's T. The Lakers on offense. They're on a 20 to 7 run. James outside. And contact on the shot. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Now, here's Mitchell. Defense right on him. Puts up a three. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. Bagley's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. 
Bagley with a screen on Zabonis. And finished off by Bagley. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaches. Now, here's Monk. James covering. Sabonis inside. Working on Bagley. Simmons finds a bonus. Just five to shoot. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Good assist on the night. Guy is a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Davis with a screen on Mitchell. And there's the pass to James. He dishes it to Davis. Shoots over Turner. And it's Davis missing. The Kings trail by 13. Simmons passes to Mitchell. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. Monk with the ball. Davis is up. Mitchell passes to Sabonis. And it's good. The time running down on the shot clock. And that's 13 points for Sabonis. Boy, I love to see that kind of heads-up play from Sabonis. He's got an eye on the shot clock and knows he's got to get it up quickly. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Lakers. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And for the year now, they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. Yep, but two more to go before the end of the season. And they'll obviously be very confident heading into those two games. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for team. Well, the defense just couldn't figure him out, and he continued to put it to him. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. Mitchell kicks to Turner. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Here's T. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long.